families of the nine victims killed in a racist attack at a black South Carolina church have reached a settlement with the Justice Department over a faulty background check that allowed Dylan Roof to purchase the gun he used in the 2015 massacre. The $88 million deal, which includes $63 million for the families of the slain and $25 million for survivors of the shooting, was announced today in Washington. Months before the shooting, Roof was arrested by Columbia, South Carolina police on a drug possession charge. But a series of clerical errors and missteps allowed Roof to buy the handgun he later used in the massacre. The FBI has acknowledged that Roof's drug possession arrest should have prevented him from buying a gun. We cannot bring back those nine victims. We cannot erase the scars that those survivors have. But what we do here today as lawyers and these families is we say we stand on justice. No amount of compensation will ever replace my father's life. But through the help and the, um, the opportunities that the government and the people standing behind me have provided, it allows me and my sister to have the opportunity to make sure that we're doing everything we can to make sure that my father's legacy doesn't go away. The deal, which was reached earlier this month, is still pending a judge's approval.